Did you know that Nikola Tesla suffered from hallucinations and he believed that he had received a message from extraterrestrials? No other inventor combined genius and madness as much as the exceptional Serbian physicist. Tesla's creations had the potential to lead mankind into the age of peace and prosperity, but they also carried the risk of destroying all life on Earth. And yet, if Tesla had not been generations ahead of his time, things like the radio, the remote control, and the microwave would still be unfulfilled dreams because you too are still benefiting today from the revolutionary ideas that whirled through Tesla's mind many decades ago. Nothing happens without electricity. What is by definition the flow or directional movement of electrons is one thing above all else in everyday life, the engine of the modern world. You've probably heard that Nikola Tesla invented or even discovered alternating current. Well, even if this is not entirely true, the inventions of the ingenious physicist are undoubtedly among the most groundbreaking contributions in the field of alternating current. In fact, Tesla played a key role in making alternating current suitable for mass use and electrifying practically the entire world. However, the story of how Tesla's alternating current became the predominant power system cannot be told without mentioning a certain Thomas Edison. At the beginning of his career, Tesla worked for Edison, whose company had developed direct current, the dominant power at the time. However, Tesla was convinced that the future belonged to alternating current, which was not yet practical at the time. Unlike a direct current generator which generates electricity with a fixed magnet and a rotating coil inside, the magnet in an alternating current generator rotates in the center so that the current is generated in the coils attached to the outside. The special feature, in this way, the current no longer has to be laboriously drawn from spark-spitting sliding contacts. Therefore, due to its physical nature, alternating current can be sent almost loss-free over hundreds of kilometers through the cables. Direct current can only be transported over short distances. Edison, however, was of the opinion that Tesla's alternating current vision was a crazy fantasy. What followed was a falling out between the two in the so-called electricity war. Edison did everything he could to denigrate his competitors' actual superior technology. But Tesla's hard work paid off, and he attracted the interest of engineer and businessman George Westinghouse. A key point in the history of electricity was the lighting of the World's Fair in Chicago in 1893. Edison said he could light the entire fair for around $550,000, but Westinghouse could do it for $150,000 less. Who ultimately won the contract is obvious, and alternating current technology became increasingly popular after the World's Fair. It became the predominant electrical system that we still use today. Thank you, Tesla. Next time you switch over. In 1898, visitors to an electrical exhibition in Madison Square Garden could not believe their eyes. As if by magic, Tesla standing on the shore steered a small boat across the water with the help of radio waves, he was not only able to control the boat's propeller, but even the lights. What many an observer may have thought was a kind of witchcraft, Tesla called the teleautomation. What was particularly curious was that the office did not even want to grant the physicist a patent for his creation at first, because nobody could imagine that it worked. In fact, teleautomation was a revolutionary first in three different areas. Firstly, of course, there was the remote control. Radio waves for operating devices have become an integral part of our daily lives. However, Tesla's boat was also one of the first robots, a mechanical object that could be controlled without a human touching it. And finally, the combination of robotics and radio control technology also made the boat the great-grandfather of drones. How Tesla Turned Niagara Falls Into a Power Source For years, the Niagara Falls Commission in New York searched for a company that could harness the enormous power of the falling water. Edison's direct current system was initially considered, but after Westinghouse had demonstrated the advantages of Tesla's alternating current, the Westinghouse Electric Company was awarded the contract in 1893. While Tesla's designs were used for the implementation, the biggest problem was financing. Not only was the task extremely challenging, there were also many doubters who thought it impossible to succeed. But when the switch was flipped on November 16, 1896, the transformer house at the Edward Dean Adams power station worked perfectly. 
After the city of Buffalo had been supplied with the necessary electricity, 10 more generators were built, which contributed to the power supply of New York City. The plant was considered revolutionary and set the standard for modern hydroelectric power plants. Did Nikola Tesla invent the radio? Well, this question is still not entirely undisputed. The only thing that is certain is that Tesla wanted to transmit a radio signal over a distance of 80 kilometers in 1895. But before he could do this, his laboratory went up in flames. In the meantime, an Italian named Guillermo Marconi was working on wireless telegraphy in England, but his system was very different from the one Tesla was building. As Marconi's invention used fewer circuits, it could not transmit over long distances. Tesla filed his patent in the USA in 1897, and it was granted in 1900. 1900 was also the year in which Marconi submitted his radio patent to the US Patent Office, but it was rejected because it was too similar to Tesla's patent. However, after Marconi succeeded in transmitting a signal across the Atlantic using a number of Tesla's patents, the office reversed its decision and declared Marconi's patent valid, making him the official inventor of the radio. Tesla wanted to look inside your head. After the First World War, Tesla attracted attention with a series of ideas that sounded surprising to say the least. He speculated about communicating with aliens, claimed to be able to develop a motor powered by cosmic rays, and claimed to have invented a death ray. But that's not all. Tesla was also convinced that he could build a camera that would make our most secret thoughts visible. In detail, the inventor was convinced that an image created in thought would also produce a corresponding image on the retina due to the reflex effect. To read out this image, all that was needed was a suitable device. He dreamed of reflecting an image onto an artificial retina, photographing it and projecting the image onto a screen. Every thought could be read on this. Our mind would then really be like an open book, says the physicist. Well, maybe it's not so bad that not all of Tesla's ideas have been put into practice. Did Tesla want to destroy the world? Shortly after Tesla's death, the US authorities were on the mat to secure all his documents. And indeed, some Tesla files are still, well, let's say, untraceable. If you've just listened carefully, you'll know why. Tesla had announced that he had developed a ray gun of unrivaled destructive power. Under the headline, Tesla unveils new death ray at age 78. The New York Times presented the physicist's plans in July 1934. In the interview, Tesla spoke of concentrated particle beams with an energy so powerful that it could knock 10,000 enemy planes out of the sky at a distance of 400 kilometers. Amazingly, however, the death ray was not intended to destroy mankind, but to save it and bring about world peace. Knowing that the other side is also in possession of this weapon technology, no nation would dare to carry out such a strike. Tesla also worked with X-rays. In 1895, Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen discovered a mysterious energy that made the bones of his hand visible. And while X-ray machines are part of every hospital's basic equipment these days, there's one thing we shouldn't forget. There is evidence that Tesla already knew something about X-rays before the German scientist made his research public. However, Tesla's work in this field was halted by the laboratory fire in 1895. But after Runkin presented his findings, this inspired Tesla to produce his own X-rays using a vacuum tube. He called the resulting images shadow graphs, and he produced a shadow graph of a foot, which he sent to Runkin together with a letter. In the letter, Tesla congratulated his colleague on his extraordinary achievement. In return, Runkin praised Tesla for taking the remarkably clear shadow image. Let there be neon light. LED neon lights have a decisive advantage over conventional light bulbs. They are significantly more energy efficient and have a longer service life. And although fluorescent and neon tubes were not discovered by Tesla, he made many contributions to further the development of both technologies. For example, the physicists recognized the potential of electron beams and experimented with conducting electrical particles through gases. In this way, he developed different types of lighting. For example, he made black light visible by creating a phosphorescent surface. He also found a practical use for this technology when he developed lamps and neon signs. What began with the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago 
continues to light up the neon signs of major cities to this day. When Tesla overtook Ferrari Before we get it wrong, in this case, we're not talking about Enza Ferrari, the founder of the sports car manufacturer, but the Italian engineer and physicist Galileo Ferrari. In the 1880s, both Tesla and Ferrari were working on the induction motor. This is a motor powered by alternating current, which essentially consists of two parts, a stator and a rotor. The stationary stator uses electromagnets to turn the rotor in the middle. Such motors are characterized by the fact that they are easy to maintain, durable, and inexpensive. And although both inventors had independently developed the same technology, it was Tesla who filed his patents first. The induction motor was incredibly influential and is still used in everyday appliances such as vacuum cleaners and hair dryers. How to light up tubes without cables The Tesla transformer, also known as a Tesla coil, is a transformer used to generate high voltage. Consisting of a primary coil and a secondary coil, each of which has its own capacitor for storing electrical energy, the two components are connected to each other by a spark gap. The capacitor of the primary coil is charged to such an extent that it overcomes the air resistance in the spark gap. The current then flows to the capacitor via the primary coil and generates a magnetic field. This field quickly collapses and generates an electric current in the secondary coil. The voltage flowing through the air between the two coils creates sparks and eventually, the charge in the secondary capacitor becomes so high that it is released in a spectacular surge. The resulting high-frequency voltage can light up fluorescent tubes without a cable being connected. Press subscribe now and never miss an exciting video again!